Hello and welcome to Barb Talks. Today I'm talking about the Osmanthus tree. I first discovered it at the downtown Chinese garden. It was kind of a tree that didn't look all that exciting, but when you walked into the Chinese garden in the fall, there was this amazingly sweet, gentle smell. And it just happened to be that fall is when the Osmanthus tree is in bloom at the Chinese garden. After taking a tour of the garden, I got to the cafe where you could try some Chinese treats. They had Osmanthus tea there and it was amazing. So when I found out that the Osmanthus tree is something that you can grow in your own yard, I decided I'd get one. So this is the Osmanthus tree in my backyard. It's several years old. I'd say probably about, oh, 10, 15 years old now. And it's probably about 20 feet tall. And it's got these gorgeous little blossoms on them. They're teeny tiny, but they smell amazing. Now the Osmanthus flower has a unique flavor as well, which is only slightly bitter and very mildly sweet. It's ideal for cooking or making teas or wines or as an ingredient in fragrance. So this is the season to harvest the little tiny flowers and then dry them. How I harvest them is I get a big tub drug bucket and it has a little handle on the top and then I put a belt under my armpits and then attach the belt to the tub truck and then I can just pick the flower blossoms just kind of go cascading down into the bucket so it's easy to catch the flowers and then I pick out any sticks and twigs and dry the flowers inside on plates and then after the flowers are dry I can put them into little jars and save them. What I usually use them for is for tea you take two grams of dried flowers in your mug. I usually put them inside one of those tea ball strainer things and then add water at full temperature, your hot water. After four to five minutes, all the flavor will be drawn out. And once that's done, you can let it cool down a bit if you need to and then drink the tea. And you'll experience this sweet, savory flavor that reminds you of rock sugar and rice cakes. It's just an amazing flavor. I read online it says studies show osmanthus flower tea may help improve the immune system and increase antioxidative defense. The flowers are known to have anti-inflammatory and antibiotic effects and can help prevent some types of bacterial infections, relieve the body of fatigue, and lowers the amount of toxins in the body. Osmanthus tea makes you feel energized and refreshed. That might just be because it tastes so good though. And it's often used in Chinese medicine as a cleansing agent. The tea is also known to treat health issues in relation to the endocrine system, liver, and kidney. And traditional Chinese medicines also use Osmanthus tea to purify the blood. Since I had plenty of blossoms this year, what I've done with my excess after I've dried them is I put them into clean used spice bottles and donated those to our local Center for Positive Aging that specifically has Asian foods that they give out to the Asian community. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect. A perfect match between Osmanthus flowers and the Asian specific food community. So it's just fun. It's fun finding new flowers and fruits and vegetables and herbs and then finding that you enjoy them just for their taste, their flavor, their smell. And then they might even have some useful uses as well. So I'm glad that I have the Osmanthus tree. I'm glad I had the opportunity. Every time I smell that smell in the fall, it reminds me of the Japanese garden downtown and of that enjoyable experience drinking the tea there and seeing the beauty. So thanks for coming along today with me to hear about my Osmanthus flower journey. And thanks for watching Barb Talks.